Welcome back to another BizBite episode of the e-commerce badassery podcast. I'm your host, Jessica Totillo Coster. You've likely heard me talk a lot about using rewards programs as a way to encourage your customers to come back again and again. But you might be wondering how much you actually have to offer them in order for it to feel valuable. Good news. There's actually a benchmark offer in the rewards industry, and it's only 5%. Now, how this gets implemented and rewarded is different, but in most cases, what the customer is actually earning in rewards is only about 5% of what they spend. We'll walk through a couple of different point systems to see how this would break down. The easiest way to do this is to reward one point for every $1 the customer spends. Once they reach 100 points, they earn a reward of $5 that they can use toward their next purchase. But maybe that doesn't sound super fun for you. Well, you can accomplish the same thing by rewarding more points per purchase and then just raising the threshold before they actually earn a reward. So maybe the customer earns five points for every dollar they spend. And when they reach 500 points, they earn a $25 reward. When deciding how many points you want to give people, think about your average order value and the other tasks you're going to reward points for, like creating their account or joining your newsletter. In general, you want them to be able to earn their first reward within their first three actions, one of those being a purchase. You can always do things like creating a tiered program where they get additional perks as they spend more, and Sephora's Rouge program is a great example of this. And one of my favorite things about rewards programs is that you can have special events exclusively for rewards members like double point days, gifts with purchase, all sorts of fun things you can do to make those members feel special and stay loyal. Oh, and most reward platforms also have a built-in referral option so you can make it really easy for your most loyal customers to spread the word about your business. And if you use a platform that integrates with Klaviyo, such as Stamped, you can actually integrate the two so you can store the customer's current point value and unique referral link on their profile and then dynamically insert it into your emails. Some other quick notes about rewards programs before we go. If you're going to implement a rewards program, please speak to an accountant. I believe the law is at the state level. I'm not 100% sure, I don't remember, but in some cases, reward points are considered a liability on your books. And once those points are converted to a reward, they can't expire. That last bit might depend on how you issue those rewards, whether it's through a gift card or a coupon, or it might just be all rewards. I honestly don't remember because it's been a while since I was managing this directly. So how do you avoid having this huge liability accumulate on your profit and loss statements? Because you know points are just going to kind of gather and people aren't going to use them. That's just what happens sometimes. The best way to do this is to put some sort of expiration on the points themselves. This is still allowed as far as I know. Like I said, please speak to a professional. The easiest way to do this is expire the points if the customer doesn't earn or redeem points within a certain amount of time. And the length of time should fall in line with how often people generally shop with you, though a year is a great rule of thumb to start with. And expiring the points should be easy enough to do through your chosen rewards platform, though you may be limited to specific plans if you want it to happen automatically, but there's probably a manual way for you to do it too. So yes, there are some nuance here and some things you have to go do additional research on to make sure you're in compliance. But rewards programs, especially if you naturally have a return customer, is a really great way to not only bring them back more often, but get them excited about sharing your business with friends. And that's a wrap on today's BizBite episode. As always, thank you so much for spending your time with me today, and I'll see you on the flip side.